Hi, welcome back. This is Math Calculations and Science Part 2. So if you haven't watched the first part, do that. That was on how to round an answer using significant figures when you have an addition or subtraction problem or a multiplication and division problem. Today's lesson is on what happens if you have both in a problem. You have some addition and subtraction and some multiplication or division. So let's take a look at this problem here involving grams and milliliters. And you have two masses on the top that you're adding, and you have two volumes on the bottom that you're subtracting, and then you're going to divide the two. So let's look at the math involved. First, we're going to do the math as usual, and then we're not going to round to the very end. So don't round and then round in the round. That can skew your answer but we're going to follow the sig figs as if we rounded as we went. So first thing, we're gonna do the math as usual. So here's the math problem. The first part I did was do the addition on the top and the subtraction on the bottom, and then the division. And so here is our unrounded answer, totally unrounded answer, all right? Now I want to round at the very end, but how do I round this number? So I'm gonna go backwards and think of what we did. So back one step, here's a division problem. And a division problem, we're going to count the sig figs and then take the smallest of the two. But be careful, I cannot just count one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, and round to three significant figures because I have to go back to the previous step and think of what happened there. So in this previous step, I had an addition. And in addition, we don't count sig figs, we look at the place and round to a certain place. So if I did round the answer, which I shouldn't have, but if I did round the answer, it would have given me something to the hundredths place, because that's the worst um, plus or minus place. So this would have been rounded in the hundredths place. And this number on top should have then have only had four significant figures. So four significant figures on the top. And this bottom here, even though I'm not rounding it, it should have been rounded if it was all by itself to the tenths place. Because subtraction, I look at the places, this goes to the tenths, this goes to the hundredths. So my answer can only be to the tenths place. If it was, the bottom number would have had just two significant figures. So the top number would have had four and the bottom number would have had two sig figs. And then I can only have two sig figs in my answer. So then I go back to my unrounded answer and I'm gonna round after two sig figs, which is at the tenths place here. And I look after the six and see that there's a five, so I have to round up. So this becomes 1.7 grams. So. It's not hard to do, but you have to go slowly and think about it. So what did I do? I went back to this step and realized I needed to know the significant figures in the numerator, the top, and the denominator, the bottom. How do I know how many significant figures? I had to go back a place and see how many resulted from the addition and how many resulted in the subtraction of these numbers. So, Hopefully you followed that, took some notes. Now it's your turn. Solve the following problem and don't round until the end and go back and figure out how many sig figs should be at the end of this problem. Pause the video and come back and see if you got it right. So, did you get it right? Here was the initial problem. This is the numerator. I subtracted these, this is the denominator, and then divided the two. Now I have to figure out how to report this final number, so I'm gonna go back one. This is a division problem. For division, the rules for sig figs is you count the sig figs. But how do I know how many sig figs in these numbers? I have to go back a previous step. So here, there were four sig figs. Count them left to right, one, two, three, four. So this number has four sig figs. But what about the bottom number? It's a subtraction. We do not count the sig figs three and four. We have to look at the place. So this went to the tenths place, this went to the hundredths place. I can only go to the tenths place in my answer. If I only went to the tenths place in my answer here, that would leave this bottom number, which I'm not rounding, but it would have left something only in the tenths place. So I have four sig figs on the bottom, but only one sig on the top, 
but only one sig fig on the bottom. So my answer then can only have one significant figure. So all of this rounds back down to eight grams per milliliter. And we're gonna learn the significance of significant figures, kind of play on words there, about why they're so important in science and what that tells us about the results. But once again, that's for another day. Thanks for listening.